Hello, I am Milka Jagle, working as Assistant Professor in Department of Mechanical Engineering, Walchand Institute of Technology, Solapur. Today, we are going to learn about how to reduce the block diagram problems. Let's see. At the end of this session, students will be able to apply the rules and reduce the block diagrams in the control systems. This is the content canonical form problems on block diagram reduction and references rules for block diagram reduction we have already studied the 10 rules to reduce the block diagrams rule 1 blocks when connected in series that can be algebraically multiplied blocks connected in parallel that can be added or subtracted depending on the type of signal eliminate the feedback loop associative law for summing point it it shows that in this fourth law if two summing points are connected one after the another without the presence of any takeoff or any block then the positions of two summing points can be altered so these are the rules in which we can shift the summing point before a block or after a block shift the takeoff point before a block or after a block and shift takeoff point after a summing point or before a summing point. So this is the problem in which you need to reduce the block diagram in a single block. So the problem is given like this like some blocks are there, summing point, takeoff points are there. The, the main aim is to convert this block, this complicated block diagram into a single block that is we need to find out the transfer function c of s upon r of s that is output upon input so let's see how it can be done so by observing the problem we observe that this block that is g2 h2 this take forward path and this uh, backward path forward and reverse path this forms a standard canonical form we have already studied in the previous lecture or in the previous video that that can be converted into g2 upon 1 plus g2 h2 now let me tell you how this plus sign came if there is a negative signal or negative feedback you need to take positive sign over here so this block completely dissolve or this block completely converted into a single block that is g2 upon 1 plus g2 h2 so now if you see here this forms a closed loop if there was only one summing point present over here there are two summing points like if the if this was not over here this summing point was not over here it can be a complete closed loop so either I can shift this summing point before this summing point or I can shift this takeoff point after the block G2 upon 1 plus G2 H2 block. So you need to decide which step you are going to take. So in this case I will shift this takeoff point after this block. So this converts into I have shifted the point was here and I have shifted this takeoff point after this block. So the rule states that whenever you shift a takeoff point, you need to add 1 upon g. That is whatever the gain is present over here, you need to add in series with that takeoff. So I have added it. So after doing this step, you observe that these two blocks, g1 block and this g2 upon 1 plus g2 h2 block are connected in series. So this is they are in cascade so that can be algebraically multiplied so in the next step we have shown that this g1 g2 upon 1 plus g2 h2 it is algebraically multiplied and can be converted into a single block now if you see this block and this unity feedback they are connected in parallel so we have converted that into a single block and 
this block and this block they form canonical form so that can be reduced so after simplifying this block and this block you observe that they are connected in a standard canonical form or standard format so after that you have reduced that into a single form that is g2 upon 1 plus g2 g1 g2 upon 1 plus g2 h2 plus g1 g2 so this is how it is simplified and a single block that is now we get the ratio c of s upon r of s equal to g1 g2 upon 1 plus g1 g2 plus g2 h2 plus g1 h1 plus g1 g2 h1 h2 so this is how it can be simplified into a simple form so now this problem the main motto is to convert this complicated block diagram into a single block so i want you to plan a strategy to solve this problem so how it can be solved if you see over here it is a closed loop if you see they are connected in series but one takeoff is present over here first preference is whether you should check whether the blocks are in series first step yes that can be in the g1 and g2 block are said to be in series but there is a if the presence of g3 is creating a problem that's why i need to shift to this takeoff point after g2 so the next step shows that after this takeoff point is shifted g1 and g2 will be in series that's why they are converted into g1 and g2 as the takeoff is shifted we have added a block with 1 by g2 gain so now this is over now if you see they are connected in parallel so that's why 1 plus g3 upon g2 in the next step it is shown 1 plus g3 upon g2 if you see they are connected in series that can be algebraically multiplied but one more step is there this form a standard form that is g4 upon h1 so we need to simplify this that is g4 upon 1 plus g4 h1 minus sign is there so you need to take plus over here so after simplification of all the three blocks that is block 1 g1 g2 upon 1 plus g1 g2 h2 second block 1 plus g3 h2 and the third block g4 upon 1 plus g4 h1 the three blocks are connected in series so that can be algebraically multiplied so this step shows that all the three blocks are multiplied algebraically g1 g4 g4 in the bracket g4 plus g3 1 plus g1 g2 h2 1 plus g4 h1 so this is the block which consists of this term so now it can be easily simplified because it has one forward path one reverse path one summing point and one gain block so this is the standard canonical form so that's why we have reduced this into g1 g4 upon g2 plus g3 upon the whole term here the plus sign is indicated just because we have here negative feedback if the if the feedback is negative then we need to take the plus sign over here so this is how it can be reduced so we have found out c of s upon r of s ratio that is output upon input quick revision of the two problems which we have studied today so these are the blocks which are connected complicated blocks so firstly we will reduce this because it is a standard form g2 upon 1 plus g2 h2 and then we can be we can also reduce this but there is a presence of two summing points so we need only one summing point that's why it is required to shift the takeoff point that's why we have shifted this takeoff point after this block as we have shifted we are adding one more block with a gain reverse gain and then we observe that these two are connected in series so they are multiplied and then after this multiplication you observe that this is a unity feedback 
so that's why 1 plus g1 g2 upon 1 plus g2 h2 they are added after simplification the two blocks are connected in parallel so canonical form reduction rule is used we receive this now this is reduced by shifting this takeoff point after g2 but because first preference we are giving for series connection that is g1 g2 when g1 g2 are simplified as we have shifted this takeoff point reverse gain is added here and then these two are connected in parallel that is it becomes 1 plus g3 upon h2 after that these are connected in parallel so it it is reduced if you observe three are connected in series and then they are connected into a single block it shows a closed loop these are the this is the simplification these are the references thank you